on. What's going on? Shut up. What's going on? Yeah. And we support everything that is cultural and everything that helps human beings become better human beings while we're helping out our planet. We had such a beautiful invocation by Kumu Keala Ching. Aloha, I'm Randall Rupar, and this is our fourth annual Hawaii Avocado Festival. We're here at the beautiful Amy B.H. Greenwell Ethnobotanical Gardens, which is one of the most wonderful venues here on Hawaii Island to just stay in tune and in touch with the endemic and indigenous species of our lovely island. And the Avocado Festival is very, very it's very, very close to our hearts in regards to our passion because we have an opportunity here to actually show and to demonstrate the arts, architecture, and agriculture. Sculptures, uh, artists, paintings. We are doing the music arts. You can probably hear it in the, in the background. So there is music and entertainment from 9 to 5 today. We have a, a main stage going on with, with music. Me and Mr. Washington go forth with no real direction. Dreaming of the day we drive our cars into the ocean. And though the people looking on will wonder what to say. And live confused about us till the day they do the same. And they will see while swimming that they are free. And presenters all day long, and we also have a demonstration stage that is working with various types of people doing everything from honeybees to mac nuts to avocado grafting. This is an example of a rootstock prior to grafting. You'll notice we use a long, deep pot to prevent spiraling of roots. You can see the stem here. And this is an example of the same age plant four months after grafting. And this is the graft union here. And this is a, field, a plant that is just about ready for field planting. And other things that are very, very important to agriculture, including worms. Now, worms are so very important because they will aerate the soil, as well as take your garbage and make it into one of the most beautiful composts that you ever, ever have, and they're free. All you gotta do is feed them your garbage and they will turn your garbage into beautiful compost so that all your flowers will be, um, will be just delightful. We also had a panel discussion called Bringing Culture Back to Agriculture. And what that means is, is that culture follows agriculture and unfortunately in this day and age what's happened is that our culture has been so eclipsed by materialism that we forget the basics of how we live and that basicness is agriculture and the food that we eat the first thing in regards to survival is food and food is so important so we've got to get back to the land Joseph Hadley. Uh, my first book was called Chailukyu Insai. Chailukyu Insai. You know, smoky time. So much more pretty than all the mountain. Why you follow like scrape the mountain like that? Waste time.
Ted Radovich, faculty with College of Tropical Agriculture and Human Resources. Um, excited to be here today at the uh, fourth annual avocado festival. Uh, avocado is an incredible crop. Hundreds of different types literally, especially in the Kona area. Um, lots of different seedlings even. Um, very exciting level of diversity. Um, so we're happy to be here and uh, uh, thank you to Randall for putting this on. Because I'm about to fairly close to leave. I'll be right back. Love the questions they ask. What I also wanted to mention is that Hawaiian avocados, believe it or not, cannot be exported from Hawaii to the mainland. And we find that that's just about a crime because there are are agricultural crops from all over the world, from Chile, from South America, from Mexico, that are coming in with avocados to the mainland and they are not ripe, they do not have the, the quality of our Hawaiian avocado, and that's, that's one of the great things about uh, coming here to Hawaii is that you won't ever ever be able to get a fresh Hawaiian avocado until you come to Hawaii Island and taste the guacamole, taste the, the remarkable recipes that are being created here. And the recipe contest is just about world famous and we have, uh, we have had entries from avocado ice cream to avocado butter to avocado roll-ups, to, uh, to avocado cake, avocado smoothies. Uh, it, it's just, uh, avocados uh, are only limited to your own culinary imagination. What do I do? Well, what did you do here? Oh, we organized the recipe contest and we had magnificent entries. Every single one was absolutely delicious. And we will be collecting the recipes. The recipes from the four avocado festivals that we've had will all be going into a book along with avocado folklore and maybe other recipes. Hopefully, we'll be getting that book out, hopefully, by the end of the year. And we just had our winners, the Mango Court. Um, Proprietors, Kona Stories, Annie's Burgers, Divine Goods, and Island Naturals all contributed the beautiful prizes for our winners. Right now we're working on the People's Choice and we'll have a winner there pretty soon as well. Thank you. Jump in one. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Hey, oh, oh, hey. <laughs> Let's organize all Ja people. Denaya Bingi Circle going ring your steeple. Spread the word of Ja far and wide. Come, give we a reason to sing and rejoice. Yes, big up the Avocado Festival 2010. Ja Mana represent. <laughs> oh, there's somebody else who's gonna do it. And the other person's gonna sing. And does it get done? No. We gotta face her. Long time. Yeah. Avocado. 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 It's a fruit. It's a fruit. Some say it's a nut. Some say it's a nut. And it's never just a seed. Okay, I just had to. <laughs> <laughs> 